Is there a magical place in this world that can potentially change your life? Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away What's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. As you know, we love traveling, but there was one place that always created some speculation around itself. Because some people decided to live there after their first visit, some people even like threw their passports away so that they can increase the duration of their stay. There are celebrities who build villas on this island because they find something spiritual about this place which enhances their creativity. So is it really something special about it or it's just a made up thing? Let's figure that out because we're going to Bali. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning Even like this, not too much. Okay, so first day in Bali, how does it feel? Okay, so first of all, it's raining right now and I hope it's gonna stop soon because we have a lot of plans to do today. Secondly, people here are super incredibly friendly. I have no words to explain how friendly people here are. Uh, the vibe is amazing, the food was absolutely brilliant tonight and yeah, so far we're really enjoying it and look at the villa that we have. This is our first villa, we'll have a couple of them in this trip, so I hope you enjoy it as we do. Bali is not famous for its spectacular beaches, but let's see how good it is with its sea life. It's seven o'clock in the morning right now because all the trips are happening very early because the sunset is very early here as well. So we're going snorkeling today.
So, we are back from snorkeling. As you can see, it's very, very dark right now and it's only seven o'clock in the evening. Um, what can I say about snorkeling? We are a bit spoiled by Maldives, but in general, I would say that it was not that bad. I mean, there was a lot of sea life under the water, which was great. Fish were actually very engaged with us. The only problem was it took us hour and a half one way to get to the place of snorkeling, which wasn't amazing. Again, traffic here is just absolutely crazy. But overall, we really enjoyed this experience and we can't wait what's coming next. Uh-oh. This is the official boat office that takes you to Nusa Penida Island. Professional, top-level customer service. Even Dog is not sure about this place. And only way to get to the boat is by taking your luggage through the water. Fun. But when we arrived, we forgot about all negativity and focused on the new adventures. This was our jungle-based Echo Villa, which was absolutely breathtaking. And look at this fancy toilet with the shower outside. Nusa Penida is literally a jungle, so if you're looking for exotic experience, this is your place. Cows, chickens, and one main street across the whole island. famous not only for its jungle vibe, it's famous for its T-Rex, right? Luvak Sanctuary where they offer Luvak coffee. They show travelers how the coffee is made, how these little creatures look like, but they only keep these animals in a cage for a week for the vaccination and then let them go. So after a very adventurous day in Nusa Penida, we are back to the main island of Bali and this time we are in a city called Changu, which is famous for its parties and social life. So we're definitely gonna talk about that. But first, let me show you the villa that we're staying in because it's just absolutely amazing.
though this villa is just perfect inside out, one of the most crucial features of it lies behind this black door. Yes, clean water is extremely important in Bali, so believe me, this was a real bonus. just came back from surfing sorry for my voice that's a result of a bad party um, we don't have any footage from the surfing because obviously this is our first time and we you know focused on trying to catch the way and learn how to do it but I thought it's just worth mentioning that it was absolutely amazing experience and if you have never done it you should definitely try it out and I will leave in the description below contact details of a very supportive instructor who helped us to catch the wave on second attempt. Speaking of parties actually, you know, Changu is an amazing place for parties. You get all the nightclubs, you get beach clubs, anything you want. Instead of recommending you something, because you will find everything here, I will actually recommend you something against off, which I did and it was a big mistake. So there is a local drink called Arak. It's basically a Balinese white wine, but the one that you will buy in stores is up to 20 degrees. Whereas the local ones, the, the, the one that they make just for themselves, they use it in different ceremonies, could be up to 80 degrees. And I am not sure which one I was drinking, and at that point it felt really nice, you know, it was really smooth, everything. Um, after drinking a bottle of it, I blacked out and I do not remember anything. I don't remember how I got back to the villa. I have no idea what happened during that night. So please try to, you know, stay away from this drink. It's just gonna be safer for you. Believe me, I tried it, didn't work out well. Of course, the main activity of Bali is going on an adventure to meet the nature and energized by breathtaking views. And our recommendation is to take the guide instead of you being alone surrounded by spiders like these. They will also take you to the best places and show you the most winning spots for your fancy Insta photos. We know you need them.
third villa was in the center of a boot, the spiritual city of Bali. Remember I told you that you need to wake up early in Bali to do the activities? Well, it's 2 o'clock at night right now and we're gonna climb a volcano, Mountain Batur. I'm really sleepy right now, but I think it's a one in a lifetime experience. So yeah, let's go. The only problem going so high up is that you still need to go down. Climbing this mountain was probably one of the most difficult things I've done in my life as I was under the weather, had fever and had a 10 kilo bag on my shoulders. But going through this, feeling every step with the whole your body, challenging yourself on every breath you take, but still moving and seeing the best sunrise in our lives, looking at the people around smiling and feeling the same. Feeling like this view is the reward for the struggles that we have gone through. It is priceless and it is once in a lifetime moment. The last place we stayed offered us exactly what we needed after such an active trip. Comfortable room, beautiful views, dinners on the sunset and ability to fully relax for the rest of the days on this beautiful island. So, what do we think about Bali? I mean, I have to be honest with you, we've set really high expectations for this place because we've seen all the bloggers being here. And to be honest, all the expectations were met, which is, which is pretty good.
Bali is a beautiful place. It is also very different. So if you really want to understand it, if you really want to live it, you have to go to different places, go to different cities, and even go to different islands. Because every city, every place is very different. It has its own spirit, its own character, its own nature, its own atmosphere. Talking about the nature, Bali has beautiful nature, it has beautiful jungles, it has one of the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets. But I, you know, there is no point of me trying to explain you how good they are. You just have to come here. You just have to visit this place and see it with your own eyes. So are we gonna come here again? Absolutely. And is there anything magical about Bali? The question that I asked in the beginning of this video. Well, Yes, there is. Bali definitely makes you think about your life, about the choices that you make, and even I would say it makes you think about the most precious and the most important currency that we have in our lives, which is time. And I hope that the thoughts I had during this trip will help me making better decisions in my life. So thanks Bali, and we will see you again soon.